Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to learn about the SQL mathematical functions. Now, as the name suggests, mathematical functions will help us to perform uh, arithmetic operations on numbers. So, pretty simple and easy to use, but very helpful when you are performing any sort of testing and want to perform some arithmetic operations on the tables that you are testing, right? So, let's go to the documentation and see what are some of the arithmetic operations or mathematical operations available in MySQL, okay? So here we'll see the numeric functions and operators. Okay. So arithmetic or mathematical functions, right? So operators we have already seen. Let's go to the mathematical functions. Okay. So as you see, these are the sum of the functions. Now you won't be using all of these, but if scenario B that you are actually testing wherein you want to use some of the mathematical functions, then yes, this is the list. Uh, the the sine tan etc all of that is available but most of most commonly you will be for example using the square root or you will be uh, doing the exponential uh, raising to the power of something so you have this um, exponent function available right and if you want to use or uh, there is a floor so basically floor returns the integer uh, returns the largest integer value not greater than the argument right uh, then you have the log function then you have the mod uh, returns the remainder right uh, you have the value of the pi so pi function as well you have this uh, return the argument raised to the specified power okay so power or uh, pow right so same almost same then you have the random return a random floating point value the random you have the round function Okay, so many mathematical functions available which can be helpful in certain scenarios based on what sort of work you are doing and what testing you are performing, right? So how you are going to use it? Let's go to the workbench and here I'll be creating another table. All right, so uh, another uh, script and uh, sorry, new query tab and let's first get the list of all whatever is there in my table here right now if say for example i have to perform certain mathematical operations on this amount okay so i won't select everything i'll simply say amount all right so select amount from customer order and then we'll perform some mathematical operations on this column and show you how you are going to use mathematical functions okay so say for example i want to get the square root of these values okay so I can use this SQRT function and then I can say SQRT. All right. I want the square root of the amount. Okay. I want the amount and then side by side, I want the square root of the amount. Okay. So I'll say select amount and then comma separated square root of the amount from the customer order. So you'll see that there is an amount column and then square root of the comma amount has been calculated and displayed. All right. So this is how you are going to use the mathematical functions. Now, if I want to use the round, let's see what round is. So round will round it to the nearest integer, right? So basically round the argument X to D decimal places. So you, you can round X if you don't specify any decimal places. So you have this X comma D. D stands for the decimal places. If I want to round a specific, say for example, here you'll see round 1.298 and then specify decimal places as zero then it will round to just the whole number if i specified decimal place as one then it will round to the one decimal place if i don't specify any comma separated decimal there then it will round to the nearest integer okay nearest whole number so say for example i want to round this square root amount as well so what i'll do is i'll say let's say i want the original amount so i'll say select original amount and then I will say round, right? So what is the function for that? R-O-U-N-D, round. And then I'll simply say round the amount, okay? So what this will do is it will round it to the nearest whole number, okay? So if I run this now, you will see it has rounded to the nearest whole number and no decimal places are there. If I say amount comma one, then it will round to the nearest, uh, sorry, it, it up to one decimal place, right? So if I run this now, you will see that it has rounded it to the one decimal place there. If I say three, then there'll be 
three decimal places accordingly right now why is this not happening because this particular column the data type only has the two decimal place the description when i when i defined this table it has only two decimal places so it will only round it to the two decimal places there okay showing like that now what else is there so if we go to the list again so we have these are all uh, trigonometry uh, sort of uh, functions which you won't be using too much at least i haven't uh, had a chance i i've mostly used say for example random right i i want to generate some random number then i use this rand uh, function uh, which will return the random so is is a random returns a random floating point value v in the range right uh, apart from that this power right or the remainder using the mod okay so if you want to use the mod so i'll say mod function of the amount uh, sorry so mod so modulo operation re returns the remainder of n divided by m right so we have to perform provide two arguments there because this is the modulo operator so we'll say modulo of say for example divided by 10 what is the remainder in that case then this is basically the remainder if the amount is being divided by 10 so these are some of the mathematical operations that will be really helpful and this is the list of mysql server but mostly the list is common across all different databases if you are using any other database apart from mysql go to the list of the mathematical operations or functions that are available within that but this is a pretty common list that will be available across all different databases it might be possible that the naming convention might be a little bit different apart from that everything will remain as is the way you use might be a little bit here and there but overall it will be almost similar across databases almost consistent okay so go through the li this list do not memorize by heart everything here you just need to understand where you need to go what you need to refer what you are looking for and how you are going to search and use in your sql and a database testing so that's all for this tutorial on the mathematical functions in sql I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.